There is no official figure of the number of Nigerians who live in South Africa, but an unofficial estimate puts it at over 800,000, some doing quite well and others just getting by. And like everyone else back home, they want the same several things that make a country great as Nigeria heads to the polls. We need help. We need good government. Everything, electricity, good roads, everything. We just need someone that will help us to get through those things. I am praying for my country. As you know, we're so proud of our country, the giant of Africa, you know. And we are, like me, I take it upon myself. And I also believe every youth, Nigerian youth, know this is the time we're taking our country back. By God's grace, uh, the person that is going to win, the person that is going to be the next president of Nigeria is going to make us proud. We Nigerians are going to make us proud. So I pray so. Everyone is keenly watching all the developments leading up to the vote, sometimes with worry, but still with hope. Dr. Mekal Gu is the president of the Nigerian Doctors Forum in South Africa. Just like everyone, he hopes all role players in the election process will put their best foot forward. To, to the electoral umpire, the INEC, they, they should ensure that no person is disenfranchised, that every Nigerian who has registered to vote, irrespective of the person's locality or where the person may be, that the person is allowed to cast his or her vote. No doubt the success of this election will not bode well only for Nigeria, but Africa and the world at large. Hence the weight of international observers already in the country, as well as those watching from outside. Advocate Sipo Mantula is a researcher with the Tabombeki African School of Public and International Affairs. President Tabombeki spoke about the elections of this country, they are beyond Nigeria. It is not all about Nigeria. What is at stake is the African Democracy Project. What is at stake also, it is the level of democracy, maturity in terms of credible elections, legitimacy, and also the actors, if they can be tolerant. While the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has ticked many of the required boxes, technological and manual, in terms of preparations, Professor Larry Obi of the Sefako Mahate Health Sciences University in Pretoria has appealed for adequate preparations for eventualities as well. Uh, we know that uh, in Nigeria, electricity supply is erratic. So I will expect uh, backups in the form of backup generators and so on, because uh, technology does not exist in a vacuum. And technology is more or less powered by electricity. So energy sources must be made available so that if there are power outages, the people will not be frustrated. Professor Obi's final word is for the voters. They should see themselves as one, primarily as Nigerians, in the wanting to usher a government that will care for the people, a government of the people for the people. As the countdown meets D-Day, the hope for many here in South Africa is for the outcome to reflect the true voices of real voters. From Johannesburg, South Africa, Betty Dibia, Channels Television News.